That leads into the next topic, sounding professional. For article reviews, this means having clean sentences, no spelling mistakes, and a bit of your own personalized touches so that it sounds as if it came from a real person and not some kind of robot. For video reviews, you obviously don't have to worry as much about how your script looks like, because no one sees it, but some points might be having a decent microphone to do voiceovers with. Maybe even a camera if you want live action footage. And yes, you can do both microphone and live action at the same time, provided your recording device can take in microphone inputs first. Though regardless of your approach, you want to have a confident delivery of the voiceover and good pacing in general. What I mean here is that if you find yourself having to pause on something, or find yourself being interrupted by someone during one of your recording sessions, you can easily edit that part out in post. For each of these videos that I make for Tracked, for example, I find myself doing long recording sessions, with even longer sessions of me having to meticulously edit the footage in such a way that it has a nice flow to it. Yeah, the live footage itself doesn't match up 100% with the previous brief sequence, but that isn't really an issue unless you are someone looking to do more than basic narration. Something that requires a more seamless effect such as making multiple clones of yourself in post, as one example. One last thing about a video review with live action footage in particular, is that it is preferable to look nice. Not necessarily in a formal tuxedo sense, but rather that you are clean with some nice clothes. Basic stuff such as a t-shirt and sweatpants will do, and not something such as a potato bag sack. Unless, of course, said potato sack will be necessary in a future review someday, such as a skit involving potatoes. Basically speaking, a video review has the fundamentals of a written review, but that it involves narration from you and some video editing. You don't always have to appear as yourself in live action, but having that extra degree of personalization is why many other content creators are so successful. Another degree of personalization being that content creators often incorporate their own style of music, but that is for another time. You might see what I mean if you go to check out some certain YouTube video. 